Today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we're talking about how to choose your residential metal roofing panel profile. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. Welcome to Q&A Mondays. We're talking about residential metal roofing panel profiles today. Check out in the description, we have all the questions we're gonna be talking about today. I've got John Labava, Doug Markle from Sheffield Metals. Let's start with the basics first. What are panel profiles and what does that mean? So a panel profile is basically going to be the description of the type of metal panel you're gonna put on your roof. It's gonna take into consideration uh, thickness of steel or substrate. It could be steel or aluminum. Uh, it's also going to take into consideration the panel width and then also the seam height on the panel. So it's literally the shape of the panel and exactly. how it's attached and what engages that. Exactly. Okay. What are some common residential profiles that you get to see in the industry? Okay, so there's the one inch mechanical profile, there's the inch uh, fastener flange and also the inch and a half fastener flange as well as the inch and a half snap lock. Okay, and some uh, differences there is the mechanical profile is seamed. Mm -hmm. The snap lock panel, it literally snaps together and that's how that's engaged with a clip underneath, just yep. like mechanical seam also has a clip. That's and correct. while the nail strip uh, is engaged with fasteners along with no mm -hmm. clips. Exactly. As a manufacturer, uh, Sheffield Metals, what are some of those common profiles that we would recommend over others? I would say just based on the testing performances of the various panel profiles, anything that's going to use a clip, whether it's a snap lock profile or a mechanically seamed, it will outperform one that is just screwed directly down into the deck. And so as a supplier, uh, we definitely would recommend a property owner using a panel profile that's using a clip. Uh, tell me about some reasons why, you know, we would recommend something with a clip rather than, uh, you know, screwed down with a fastener. So when you're using a clip system, you have more points of attachment on your deck. When you have just a screw down panel, basically the only thing holding that metal down to the deck is gonna be the diameter of the head on the yep. screw. Um, when you're talking about wind uplift and pull out values, anything that's where you've got a clip that's got two screws in it, space two feet apart is definitely gonna outperform something that's just screwed down into the deck. How do you choose the panel profile? Probably going to be uh, a number of factors. Uh, obviously, aesthetics. Uh, how tall of a seam are you wanting to see from the ground? What's the slope of your roof? Mm -hmm. um, you also might have to take into consideration, depending upon the type of neighborhood you're in, if there's any sort of covenants written into your homeowners association okay. uh, on the type of uh, panel profile you could have on there. Uh, I'd say that those would probably be the factors. Um, is there a cost difference between some of these profiles? There definitely could be. Uh, obviously, a mechanically seamed panel is a little more labor intensive. Um, regionally, it kind of depends upon uh, the contractor and how they price manufacturing and installation. So there, there could be some subtle cost differences sure. from panel profile to panel profile. So this is a basic overview of some of the residential profiles that we see on a daily basis in the industry and also some that we recommend. Uh, we do have a lot of other videos about residential metal roofing and we're gonna be coming out with more. So make sure you subscribe right here to the Metal Roofing channel. And if you have any questions, comment down below. We'd love to answer them and address them in a future video. Thanks John and Doug for joining me here today. I'll catch you next time.